assalamu alaikum boys and girls uh, last time we discussed how to convert the form a cos theta minus b sin theta into into the form r cos theta plus alpha and we are going to continue the same exercise for a little bit more practice uh, it's exercise 3 e question number 2 This is express two cos theta minus three sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha. If I consider two cos theta minus three sine theta equal to r cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha, as expansion of r cos theta plus alpha, if on comparing two sides. We get. I'm comparing cos theta with cos theta. We get r cos alpha is equal to two, and r. If I compare sine theta with sine theta, we get r sine alpha is equal to three. Squaring and adding gives me. Gives me r square that r is equal to square root of thirteen. While taking square root, I am not considering positive and negative sign because. R is always positive. It is given in the statement that R is greater than zero, and alpha lies between ninety degree and zero degree. Alpha is always acute. It is given in the statement, and R is greater than zero. That's why here, while taking the square root of R square, we are not considering positive and negative sign. We are just considering the positive sign only. Similarly. If I divide divide second equation by the first r sine alpha over r cos alpha, we get three by two. So tan alpha is equal to three by two, or tan or alpha is equal to tan inverse of Three by two. Here we need to use the calculator to find the value of ten three by two. Shift ten three by two is equal to fifty six point three. So alpha is equal to fifty six point three degree. So the required form is two cos theta minus three sine theta is equal to r cos theta plus alpha. R is square root of thirteen cos theta plus fifty six point three degree. So this is our required form. And you people are familiar how to solve it. We have already discussed in the last lesson. Furthermore, he says solve. He says solve two. 
2 cos theta minus 3 sin theta is equal to 1.3. B part. To solve 2 cos theta minus 3 sin theta is equal to 1.3, we will replace this expression by the second form that is cube root square root of 13 cos theta plus 56. So I can take square root of 13 cos theta plus 56.3 is equal to 1.3. So theta plus 56.3 is equal to cos inverse of 1.3 over square root of 13. So we have to use calculator for the value of theta. I have 1.3 over square root of 13. is equal to shift cos answer 68.7 so theta plus 56.3 is equal to 68.7 value of theta lies between 0 to 360 degree we know cos is positive and positive cos means your angle lies here and here. So remember 68.7, 68.7. So the other angle will be 360 minus 68.7. The other option for the theta plus 56.3 is 360 minus 68.7 it will be 291.3 291.3 so theta is equal to you have to subtract 56 from 68 68.7 minus 56.3 so answer is 12.4 and the other answer is 291.3 minus 56.3 it's 235 so the solution is 12.4 and 235 Okay. Remember R value of R is square root of A square plus B square and alpha is 10 inverse of B over A. When we convert A sine theta plus B cos theta in the required form. So directly we can use these formulas as well, but I, I will advise you to go through the whole procedure. Question number three says, express 15 sine theta minus eight cos theta. 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta. We have to express it in the form R sine theta minus alpha. R sine theta minus alpha. We have to convert 15 sine theta 
minus 8 cos theta into r sin theta minus alpha. So 15. So as we know that the value of A, value of B, using these values directly I can calculate R as A square plus B square. That will give me 15 square plus 8 square. Remember, if we compare both the sides, then the value of B would be minus it would be 8. So A and B are always positive. You don't need to take the negative sign here. So if I take square root 15 square plus 8 square 289 and square root is 17. So R is equal to 17. Similarly, to find the value of alpha, we can straight away use 10 inverse B over A. That means 10 inverse of B is 8 over 15. That is 28.07. Alpha is equal to 28.07. Okay. So my required answer is 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta is equal to r is 17 sine theta minus 28.07. This is your required form. That is your part A. Let me check the answer. 17, 28.07 is the correct answer. Then he says solve. In the B part, he says solve. Solve 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta is equal to 3. And to solve it, again I'll use this form instead of 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta, I'm going to use 17 sine theta minus 28.07 is equal to 3. So theta minus 28.07 would be sine inverse of 3 by 70. <clears throat> Shift sine 3 by 17 is equal to 10 point is 10.16 and and the other value of the sign will be in the second quadrant that would be 169.84 169.84 theta minus 28.07. So theta is equal to, I have to add 10.16 into 28 and 169 plus 28.07. That gives me 197.91. 197.91 and the other value is 10.16 plus 28.07 38.23 these are the values of theta
197 and correct answers. The third part that actually I want to discuss with you people, he said find the greatest value of 30 sine theta minus 16 cos theta. He says C part, greatest value. value of 30 sine theta minus 16 cos theta. 30 sine theta minus 16 cos theta. He find the greatest value of this expression. I'm taking two common from here. So it will becomes 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta. So this expression is same as of the given expression and which in the in the required form is 17 sine theta. So I can replace it by 2 into 17 sine theta minus 28.07. So actually in this question I want to discuss the third part with you actually. The previous two parts are similar. So you are familiar with this, that method here. He was asking for the greatest value of this expression. I have taken two common from here so that I get a similar expression as the given expression in the question. And I have used its, the require, its other form that is R sine theta minus alpha. So I've written this form. I know maximum or minimum value of sine. Whatever is the angle, sine, x lies between 1 and minus 1. So the maximum value of sine can be 1, a minimum can be minus 1. So instead of sine theta minus 28.07, I'm using 1 because that is asking for the greatest value. So greatest value of this expression, this expression could be 1 only. So we left with 2 into 17 and I'm replacing sine theta minus 28.7 by one. So my answer is 34. So the greatest value of 30 sine theta minus 16 cos theta is 34. So remember what I did, I used R sine theta minus alpha form of this expression. And in this expression sine sine function can vary between one and minus one because he's asking for the greatest value. So I have used the maximum value, so maximum value for the sine function. So instead of sine, I have used one, 17 into two gives me 34, the maximum value. Question number four is similar to the third one, but the last part, I will discuss only the last part with you. He says express express four sine theta minus six cos theta into the form R sine theta minus alpha. We have to express in the form R sine theta minus alpha. I'm not going, uh, going to explain the whole detail. You people are familiar with it. Straight away value power would be four square plus six square. That would be square, uh, 16 plus 36 or square root of 52. 52. So R would be R is square root of 52. 
and if I find the factors of 52, so I'll get 2 into 2 into 13. That means 2 square root of 13 is the value of R. Similarly, alpha will be 10 inverse of 6 by 4. Shift 10, 6 by 4 is equal to 56.3. 56.3. Three, one is the value of alpha. So your required form will be 4 sine theta minus 6 cos theta is equal to R sine theta minus 56.31. This is the first part. In the B part, he says solve. So I'm not going to solve the second part. I'm leaving it for you. He says solve four sine theta minus six cos theta is equal to three. So I'm not going to solve it for you. You can do it yourself. His third part, C part says, find the greatest and least value of, he says find greatest and least values of 4 sine theta minus 6 cos theta square minus 3. So we have to find maximum minimum value of 4 sine theta minus 6 cos theta square. Four sine theta minus six cos theta square minus three. If I write it in the other form, it will be uh, here. I have written it should be two thirteen. It will be two root thirteen sine theta minus 56.31 whole square minus 3. Now again, I know about this expression. If I apply square on it, it will be 52 square of 2 root 13 will be 52 sine square of theta minus 56.31 minus 3. Again, I know the sine function can vary between 1 and minus 1. I know sine x lies between 1 and minus 1. But here we have a sine square. If I take a square, then the sine square lies between Square of negative 1 will be positive 1, square of positive 1 will be again positive 1. So now sine lies between 0 and 1. So in, it means I can replace sine square theta minus 56.31 with 0 to get the minimum value and with 1 to get the maximum value. So for minimum value, I'm using sine square theta minus 56.31 is equal to zero. So expression becomes 52 into zero minus three, that is 49. It's a minimum value. For maximum value, I will replace sine square theta minus 56.3 with 1. 
so I get 52 uh, into sorry 52 into 1 minus 3 that is 49 so maximum value and minimum value so the minimum value is minus 3 and maximum value is 49 <clears throat> so again I used the maximum minimum values of the sine function so that lies between 1 and minus 1 but here we have sine square so I took square of the maximum minimum values that gives me the range for the sine square function between 0 and 1 so for the maximum minimum value I've used sine square theta minus 50 is equal to 0 in this expression that gives me the answer minus 3 and for the maximum I used it as equal to 1 that's it for today from my side inshallah uh, in the next lesson we will discuss the question from the past papers or if there is any difficulty in this exercise we can discuss that as well thank you very much